The meta has a big shift from the hyper carry ADC and enchanter support duo as Riot nerfs lots of these champs and items in 13.12. Like you saw at the start of the video, Font of Life and Echoes of Helia no longer proc each other because Riot hates having fun. They nerfed Echoes of Helia pretty hard last patch because it was overperforming due to the Font interaction, so surely Riot should compensate with some buffs later. Lulu got nerfed with her base armor and passive damage getting decreased, but they buffed her shield amount on her E. Riot is shifting the damage portion of her kit to be more defensive, but I think it's a pretty big nerf to her overall. Emilio got his base armor and armor growth decreased, and the big nerf was the decrease to a scaling passive damage. Now it's a flat 15, which is a huge change. Lots of rel changes, TLDR, her overall damage and damage to jungle camps was nerfed, but her Q wind time got decreased. Yumi got absolutely gutted again in this patch. Riot decreased her bonus heal and shield on her W, shield and attack speed buff on her E, and healing on her R. Next we have Ash, or I like to call her Trash, because they did buff her W damage and AP ratios on her R, but after removing Helia, she sucks. One important change that affects a lot of supports for Lucian is that they decrease the damage on its passive, and they change the passive so that when Lucian is healed or shielded by an ally, or when a nearby champion is immobilized, his next basic attack will deal bonus magic damage. Now you can pair him with engage supports and don't have to only pair him with Nami and Milio. Moving on to items, we have Ardent with a very big nerf to the on-hit damage. It no longer scales and is a flat 15. This was a deserved nerf because this item was really strong, but I wish they'd at least try to experiment with the scaling numbers instead of just making it 15. Next we have Mandate. This item got its damage decreased, but the movement speed increased. A lot of mages were buying this item, so it made sense to make this change, and personally, I'm a big fan. I always prefer utility over damage on enchanter items. Next is Moonstone, and this item got some huge buffs to it. They changed the item so it no longer scales and gives a very high flat percentage for both healing and shielding and increased the mythic passive from 5 ability haste per item to 5% increased heal and shield. I thought this item would be really broken, but after testing it, it only feels really good on Soraka. The direct nerfs to Melio, Lulu, and Yumi were big, but if you consider the indirect nerfs, these champions got hit hard. The hyper carries that made them god tier got nerfed, as well as one of their best items, Ardent. With that being being said, here's my tier list. Since we've moved away from the hyper carry enchanter meta, engage supports are strong because they don't get instantly melted in teamfights anymore. In these past three patches, a lot of the damage was nerfed in the game in general, so tank supports can actually tank. I'll go in detail in every champ on A+, starting with Senna. Senna is the bottom of A because she has a really hard time into the current meta of engaged supports. She excels at the enchanter matchups because there is little kill threat in lane, but against engaged, the laning phase is very hard to play. While Senna has the potential to solo carry, in patch 13.12, she does not get a lot of games where she gets a free lane. Next is Alistar. He was pretty high up last patch because he was the only support tank that could actually tank because of his ult, but now since other support tanks are viable, he is lower on the list. While Alistar's guaranteed CC and his ability to tank is unmatched, his lack of range is his biggest weakness. In the current engage meta, range and utility is a lot more valuable than being able to tank for longer because there's less damage in the game. Next we have Pike. Pike is the same as Senna in that he has a hard time into the current meta of engaged supports. While he still can pop off, it's not as free as it was when enchanters were strong. I put Pike a bit higher than Senna just because laning phase isn't as bad as Senna when she's countered. Next we have Brad. He didn't synergize with the hyper carries and was countered by the enchanters that used Ardent slash Shirelia, so because those things both got nerfed, he's able to excel in the meta. Engaged supports are still a little rough for him, but he's doing a lot better. Next we have Leona. She didn't get any direct buffs, but the meta is in her favor because she can actually tank now. Leona has the perfect balance of CC, tankiness, and range to make her very well-rounded. The biggest weakness Leona struggles with is the matchups against some of the higher tier supports. In her losing matchups, she loses very hard. Next we have Tarek. He is one of the best counter picks into engaged supports because of his ability to provide lots of heals through autos and invulnerability. He does suffer the same weakness as Leona as his losing matchups are really bad, but he has more chances of countering picks this meta. Next is Sona. She is the hardest scaling enchanter in the game. Even though Arden got nerfed, she utilizes is most of the support items the best. She has a very exploitable early game, but if she can make it to the mid game going even, she can stat check most engaged supports and win the game. Next is Soraka. She is pretty high in A because she utilizes the Moonstone buffs the best. I think she has the strongest power spike in the game on first item, and it's only 2300 gold. She has the same weaknesses as Sona, but her kit allows her to have a bit more flexibility in her bad early game and matchups. Next is Annie. She is a great flex pick and a strong support because of her range and utility. She is unique in that she has played like a hybrid in Enchanter Mage that provides buffs and does a lot of damage. While she struggles early against hook champs, once she gets tibbers, you hard counter most of them because you can micro tibbers to block hooks. She's also one of the best anti-heal providers as tibbers is an AoE healing reduction unit. Next we have Blitzcrank. I think Blitz will always have a place in high tier because all it takes is one hook to win the game. He has lots of winning matchups and he can work around his losing ones really well because of the flexibility of his kit. He can peel back or go in in most situations. 
At the top of A, I have Nautilus. He provides lots of CC and he can frontline without instantly melting because hyper carry meta is over. Now it doesn't feel as bad if you are behind. He has pretty decent matchups and you can never go wrong picking him for your team. Starting off S, we have Janna. If engaged supports are meta, Janna will be strong as well because she is the best disengaged support. Although Ardent did get nerfed, she can utilize other support items just as well. Overall, she has decent matchups against most of the other supports and hard wins the matchups she's favored in. The only downside to Janna is that the enemy can draft champions that can only poke and never engage, but it's pretty rare for that to happen in solo queue. Next, we have Thresh. I always say this, but he has everything you would want in a support. His kit allows him to play aggressively or defensively, and because of that, he has all the tools to deal with any situation. Like not, he can fit in any team comp, and because a lot of the damage in the game has been nerfed, he doesn't get stat checked anymore. He is probably the best blind pick support in the game due to his versatility. The only downside to Thresh is that his skill ceiling is really high, so he's hard to play. At the top of A, we have Rakan. His mobility Ability, healing, and damage is pretty overtuned, and he is currently very strong. The enchanter nerfs don't affect him at all, so he's thriving this patch. He does really well into the engage meta because he can outmaneuver a lot of the champs. Finally, at the top, we have Rel. Even after the nerfs, her numbers are just not balanced. The hotfix buff she got in 13.11 was too much, and she will definitely see some nerfs very soon. I'm not sure if her rework is actually good or not, just because she has been either really weak or very strong. If you want free LP, play her this patch. That concludes my 13.12 support list. Every patch has been a lot of changes, and I hope to be able to break down a lot of these things so you guys can understand what's happening and climb the ladder.